<laughs> Wayne Martin is well known on the clay scene. Here he is sporting some of Jack Pike's shooting gear for a recent ad. However, Wayne is not just capable with a shotgun. Sometimes he likes to make things a little more challenging. Yes! <laughs> I've always shot a catapult, I've just never shot them to this extent. <laughs> he doesn't stop practicing. Fence post and leaves are fair game. You know, it's such a cheap, accessible sport. It really is. Did you feed the family solely with a catapult? I have done. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Through, through the summer we went through a, a stage of having game pie every Friday because of what I'd got during the week. On average yeah. I was shooting about five or six pigeons and a couple of rabbits every week throughout the summer. He's definitely a mean catapult shot and by that we don't mean mean as in angry. Apparently he even looks this intense brushing his teeth. Anyway, this morning Wayne is on a catapult safari with Andy on the farm. So what we're going to be doing is hunting for a bit more power. We're after woodies well, like for the pot plus some general it's pest it's control. Andy has white feral doves that have made a barn their home. And the squirrels are playing havoc with the pheasant hoppers. Let's start with the barn. It's the first sort of time we are shooting in this kind of scenario. Normally it's all wild, wild hunting, so yeah, you're shooting up in the trees. But I mean, generally, we're not, <laughs> not able to get this close to stuff. Drop well. Uh, drop like a stone. I mean, you, you think you know, you're hitting these birds with nine and a half millimeter steel ball, traveling around 250 feet per second. Uh, it doesn't mess about. Inside, Andy asks Wayne to go for the pigeons on the girders to avoid roof damage. Well, we've got three of them anyway. No, they're, they're probably they around the farmyard. It's, it absolutely stinks in here where they keep roosting in here. You, you start off with one and two, and then the next thing you've got 31 and two, and they're just a pain in the neck now. And Wayne said he wanted to have a go with his catapult, so I thought, perfect chance. So we're just going to run around, see if we can find a squirrel or something now, and then come back and knock a few more of them off. Can't, can't get a shot around here. So hold over and hold under is important for you then? At that kind of range, yeah for sure with these kind of bands it's obviously and aiming upwards sends the uh, ball high so but at, at, at range yeah definitely you definitely need to learn learn your bands learn the trajectory of what you're using the, you know, the weight of the ammunition you think of probably 30 yards with a nine and a half mil steel you probably hold over six inches or so Wayne only recently returned to shooting with the catapult after seeing one of the new breed of high-tech looking forks. His newfound enthusiasm has led to him designing and selling his own. You know, who would have thought 10, 15, 20 years ago you'd be having catapults made from titanium and carbon fibre, you know? It's crazy. It's, it's moved on hugely. But all for the better. All for the better completely. Now let's head to the woods. Oh, get on him, get on him, Crow. Great shot. I lost. <laughs> a 30 yard headshot on a grey squirrel, and even though Andy is a bit wary, it's stone dead. It's a headshot. Well done, mate. Thank you. What's that, 30 yards? 25, 30 yards? Yeah, good 30 yards. Look at that. Well, on the order. Well done, Cheers. So that's delivering some power still that far oh. down razor? Oh, hell of a, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a 9mm uh, lead ball we've just used. Um, Travelling at 250 to 280 feet per second. You think the weight, the weight that carries, yeah. you know? Even at terminal velocity, if, if uh, that was to hit a pigeon or something in the head, it's still going to kill it, it's still going to go through it. That's cool, yeah. Yeah. The hardest thing at that kind of range is putting the shot in the right place. Yeah, sure. It's not the fact that it won't kill it, because it will kill it. Yeah. It's just it's just putting it in that right place, yeah. which obviously that is... A spot on there. A good yeah. shot, mate. Cheers. Well, mate. 
A bit concerned for your fingers at one point there, Mr. Crane. <laughs> oh, I was, I tell you, you come right back there, anyway. A bit of nerves there. Uh, it's amazing, though, how they can still yeah, go. I've been bitten by them things before, but usually through your welly boots, you've got to finish them off. <laughs> but, yeah. That Tough. Was a cracker. As soon as he's gone, we can fill boots in. It's just one squirrel, but there is such a sense of achievement. There's nothing like it. Hunting with a catapult, there isn't anything like it. You shoot a squirrel with an air rifle, you shoot a squirrel with a shotgun, doesn't really count for a lot, no, you know, but you shoot it with a catapult, there's an achievement. Yeah. It's so, you know, yeah. it's such a crude item, but so effective. Yeah, if we'd had a shotgun, we'd probably have shot four or five. Yeah, well, it's, you get but yeah, but you can get a, yeah, exactly. More satisfaction out of more shooting satisfaction, that one. Definitely. Yeah, more satisfaction out of shooting that one than... And let's face it, he, he didn't know anything about that. No, he certainly didn't. You know, no. nerves are going to keep you going, but yeah, you know, that's... He didn't know anything about that. No, he didn't. We drop back down to the barn to see if some of the doves have returned. Andy asks him to take a body shot on one that won't budge. Basically base of the neck, isn't it, really? Yeah. So that's an impressive hole, but you know, we, we're in a confined environment here so we can collect these birds, but headshots are vital then, right? Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. I mean, this is base of his neck. Things the way we're shooting in the barn. Yeah. You've got to aim, you've got to aim that much lower so you aim for the bigger target to get exactly. down, really. Just in case you do miss. Left hand one, yeah? With the time left, it's back to the woods, and this time another squirrel is making us work. The trouble is, he's on top of the branch, so you can't actually get anything. Yeah, somewhere he's get at. Yeah. Did you get that? Yeah. Right in the head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, David. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done, mate. Cheers, mate. That was bloody awesome. <laughs> right in the head, then, yeah? Oh, yeah. Top of the head. And the side of the nut. Well, don't, yeah, don't grab him yet. We spent about three quarters of an hour trying to get this thing. <laughs> He's been up and down, up and down the trees. Yeah. Want, that was work for. I'm not going to get beat by him, <laughs> I tell you. That was work for. That was great fun. Yeah. You with a catapult, any good? No. You've had a go, mate, haven't you? Yeah, I'm no good with a shotgun, so I'm no good with a catapult. <laughs> I'm no good with 300 pellets. Let <laughs> alone one ball bearing. That's, that's where the achievement comes from, is you've got one, one chance. Yeah, that's you know, right. One yeah. chance, and that's it. If that had been a shotgun bang, he would have been in the back yeah. of the bug, he would have been on to the next one. And it wouldn't mean nothing, would it? No, but just rushing around here, keeping him up the tree, <laughs> keeping it, getting him tired. That's, that's the thing, you, yeah. you just got to get them tired. Once they're yeah. tired, they just, they freeze out then. And right. You've got more chance to get if you want to find out more about Wayne's Catty Shack catapults, check him out on Facebook. <laughs>